Miranda Kerr has gone from climbing trees on her grandma's farm in Gunnada to scaling the heights of the modelling world. Now based in New York, she racks up serious frequent flyer points jetting around the globe for exotic photo shoots and as a catwalk fave. Australia's first Victoria's Secret Angel is back in town, donning the sash as David Jones's fashion ambassador. Welcome back to the show, Miranda Kerr. It's a pleasure. So, have you had any dreams about me lately? <laughs> no, sorry. Ooh. Unfortunately. I was thinking about it. I was like, wow, what am I going to say to Rove? It's going to be disappointing for him. But yes. Sorry. Ah, uh, you may as well just Any go. about uh, Hamish? <laughs> <laughs> but I like your red hair. Is that for Valentine's Day? No, uh, the, it's actually a lot. A lot. <laughs> His girlfriend made him do it, so now I want to take it. <laughs> I can say that um, it's strictly lights off now at home, <laughs> but it was already lights off, now it's shades closed as well. <laughs> that thing glows in the dark. <laughs> do you Valentine's Day? Are you romantic for Valentine's Day? I'm a romantic, yeah. Now, do you expect to be surprised or do you surprise? I don't think you necessarily have to be so romantic for Valentine's Day. I think it's just like something that you should always be. There you go. That's yeah. why. That's why I sometimes think there's a lot of pressure. There's too much pressure on Valentine's Day. It's a little cliche, in my opinion. I know because you see, like a guy could buy uh, flowers and chocolates on Valentine's Day, and it's like you didn't even make an effort. But you do it a d the day before or day after. It's oh, sweet. Yes. Oh, thank you. When it's unexpected, that's what I prefer. Exactly. Yes. I, I think I, you'll find if you do it the day after, they're not so happy. <laughs> That's a very after. good point. <laughs> hey, now, something we didn't discuss last time, you're right, I only discovered this after you had, had been on. What was that? You are a, a neat freak. You I are am. a clean freak. I'm a clean freak and a neat freak. I that is fantastic. Because that's, that's me. Yeah. Uh, how bad are you? What's, what's the worst thing you do? <sighs> I'm, well, I'm not necessarily, I'm more cl into cleanliness. Like, I can't stand having dirty feet. I have to have clean feet and I have to always have a shower, like, at least twice a day. So is that, is that uh, you don't like to see them dirty or it's the smell? What is no, it exactly? No, no, it's not the smell, it's just dirt. I don't like dirt. <laughs> it feels like a very, very high class brand power. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? At the end of that you said, I don't like dirt, and you did this little thing with your eyebrows where you went like this, I don't like dirt. <laughs> and I suddenly, I suddenly went... Ooh. No, I mean, I mean, like, I mean like dirty dirt, because there's a difference between growing up in the country and having like dirt, this kind of clean dirt, mud, that's well, fine. Well, I used you to grew up in the country, mud so I can cakes, understand. and that was fine, uh -huh. but like city dirt is like dirty dirt. It's just filth. <laughs> you know it's what like, I mean? I understand. I, I do understand. No, I there's dirt and then there's like yucky. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, country dirt, you kind of have an idea where it's come from. Yeah, it's just come from huh? the ground. <laughs> A lot of guys are probably fantasise about you talking dirty, and then it didn't really turn out <laughs> the way that we expected. Well, yeah, of course, you've been modelling <laughs> since. <laughs> I, I wonder about this because you've been modelling since 13? Well, actually, I was two weeks off 14. Two weeks off 14. Mm. So, at such a young age, like, how are your folks about you getting into it at such a young age? I just want to say I really like your haircut. Looks good. Thank you very much. Mm. So, back to the question. <laughs> and, and I have clean feet. Do you? Good. You look a little bit like a neat freak. I like that suit. It's, it's trim. Yeah. Are, you avoiding, are you avoiding the subject? Well, you know, modelling can be a little, you know, overrated <laughs> Not sometimes. <laughs> did you, now, did you get in trouble last time? No. From flirting? No. Did you tell Orlando about your dream about me? I showed him on YouTube. Oh, now, how, what was his reaction? How do you show a dream on YouTube? <laughs> No, I'm going to worry that technology exists. <laughs> a lot of dreams I think are well, flat on the nipple. Because I thought I felt it was only fair because my girlfriend Tasma was in the audience when that happened, <laughs> and I was wondering if you had to. Was there any conversation when you got home? What did you? No. You showed him the clip on YouTube. I showed him the clip on YouTube. And what did he say? Good on you. Right. It was great. He loved it. I, I don't think. He Orlando Bloom, you know, voted, voted most sexy person in the world security. for a while. I was too worried. I mean, you're a beautiful man. Has he seen <laughs> No, not yet. Wait till I die at red. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hey, Miranda, do you want to take part in your final five? Why not? Okay, let's put the thing up. Here we go. <laughs> a little bit different to the last one. Well, do I win anything? 
There's no prizes this time. Oh, it's all Dad. for the love of oh, Dad. the financial crisis. Oh. <laughs> Number five, is it cruel to ask models to say cheese when they're not allowed to eat it? Uh, I ate cheese today. Number four, have you ever stolen anything? No. Number three, this is an audio question, have you ever said this on set? Then why the f*** are you walking right through? Oh, da -da -da -da, like this in the background. What the f*** is it with you? Not quite like that. <laughs> During the tirade. Number two. Now this is multiple choice. Okay. Uh, finish the sentence. I think Roger Federer crying at the Australian <laughs> Open made him look a sad, b effeminate, c racist. <laughs> sad. And uh, number one. It's a visual question. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Not that you're aware of. All right. Thank you very much, Miranda. Now, Miranda, here's the plug. Is here for the David Jones autumn winter season launch. It's a pleasure to have her in town. Miranda Kerr, everybody. Yeah.